Okay, time to set the servo direction. All the servos are installed in the body and connected to the swash plate. No motor connected at the minute, so I'm going to use a uh, um, battery connected to the uh, receiver. That will allow us to operate the servos so without operating any motor or anything like that. The head's off, uh, so we'll get started. Switch on. Switch on. Let it settle. Okay. First of all, we need to check the direction before we do anything else. So we'll look at the throttle, aileron, elevator, and we'll see that the servos are moving in the correct way. So we'll start with uh, start with the elevator. So as you can see, the elevator is opposite to what we want. So if we go into the servo reversing and uh, change the direction of the elevator servo, so now it's moving up. When we move it up, which is correct. Uh, aileron left and right well something up there moving left should move one down one up in opposite to the opposite direction so these are us both moving up and down so we need to see which one's the wrong way so if we move the throttle we'll see that if we move the throttle up the aileron server goes down instead of up but the pitch one's correct so what we're going to do is we adjust the uh, servo reversing again and we'll alter the aileron servo so now all three servers move up and down as they should. Elevator is correct, yes. Uh, check the aileron. Left, oh, left is right and right's left. So the operation is reversed on there. So to fix that, we'll go into the swash mix. And a lot of the swash mix on the aileron servo to minus 60. The default will be positive 60. So we're going to go from plus 60 to minus 60 on the aileron servo. And that should. We'll see, it should sort it out. Yep, so the direction's correct. All the servos operate in the dire correct directions. Throttle's moving the swash plate up and down, correct. There we go, so that's that. Right, next we have to set the all the servo arms at 90 degrees. If they're not at 90 degrees, you'll get an uneven throw on your servo arms, which will adjust your, your pitch wrong and all sorts of horrible things will happen. So. What we're going to do is you're going to use a sub trim to set the servo arms at 90 degrees to the servo. As near as we can get it. So we want 50% throttle. And if you have a look, that's fairly close. I think, yeah, that's fairly, it might need a little bit. But we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that for now. The best way to do this is to get them mechanically at 90 and then adjust electronically. Okay, let's have a look. I'll check the elevator servo, it's hidden away in there. That's a little bit low, so what we'll do is we'll use the sub trim again and we'll alter that and bring that up to nice and level at 90 degrees. The center, you want the center throw of the servo arm. There we go, that's better. And then the pitch servo, adjust that, bring that up. Once these settings are set in your transmitter, it's best not to adjust them um, because this is your uh, your level point. Okay, give them a wobble so they see the settle correctly. Yep, that's all right. Right, next we have to level the swash plate. I have a handy little tool for that. It's a piece of. Uh, heavy solder twisted on the top with a one arm going down to touch on the swash plate. So here we go, I'll show you that. There we go. Basically it's have a heavy plumber solder twisted round to form an arm. So we'll use that to have the same height and check the height on all the uh, servo arms where they connect to the swash plate. This one's a bit low so we want adjusting so we'll have to lengthen the rod. Bring that up, reconnect it, and then we'll check it again. Find the right tool for the right job. There we go. Well, never mind. Put your fingers. So we'll reconnect that, and then we'll check again. So that looks fairly close. That arm looks a little bit down. It did look a tiny little bit, obviously, as I've moved it around. So we'll adjust that. 
and bring out to only a matter of millimeters that should do bring it up yep that's fine let me check that that's better that brings all the the points on the swash plate nice and level smashing Right, time to put the head back on. If you're not sure um, where all the linkages go, it's best to either take a photograph or do a quick sketch or mark the uh, the arms to where they connect, where they connect onto the swash plate, etc. Right, put the Jesus nut in. Don't forget this, or you'll lose your head. Yeah. Use it on. Remember, um, I haven't done it at the minute, but just to put on a little bit of thread lock on the nut when you tighten it up so it stops it from becoming loose during the any vibration in the helicopter. You don't want to lose that bit. Right, what we're in for, still at 90 degrees on the uh, servos, we want the swash plate level, we want the washout arms level, and the fly bar connector level, and the pitch, the um, blade holders level. So it you should still have the power onto your servo, so it should be at 50% throttle, and everything should match up nice and level. If not, you may have to adjust some of the rods from the swash plate up uh, to get it, and then check it with your um, pitch gauge, etc. But we're looking for everything nice and level from bottom to top. A quick check. So your blade should be level, flyby level, washout arms down to the swash, right down to the servo. So that's all nice and level, right to go.